Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the cast of the Fantastic Beasts films. More specifically, we're going to be discussing the direction of the Fantastic Beasts films and how they were impacted by the substitution of Johnny Depp for Maz Mikkelsen in the role of primary antagonist Gellert Grindelwald. Now, when the Fantastic Beasts films first hit theatres, in spite of our awareness of Grindelwald's presence, we were all, at first, under the impression that the main antagonist was going to be Percival Graves, played by Colin Farrell. However, towards the end of the film, it is revealed that Percival Graves was actually Gellert Grindelwald, played by Johnny Depp, in disguise. With that said, we only witness Depp's Grindelwald for a very brief period in this film. After the first film had ended and Grindelwald's true identity had been revealed, Depp ended up reprising his role as Grindelwald in 2018's Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. In this film, we got much more of a look into Depp's portrayal of the famous Dark Wizard, and I certainly wasn't disappointed. But then, disaster struck. After an ongoing legal battle involving Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, The Sun newspaper, and some accusations of libel, Johnny Depp was dropped by Warner Brothers, being asked to leave the franchise just as filming for the third installment had begun. Warner Brothers said the following, Johnny Depp will leave the Fantastic Beasts franchise. We thank him for his work on the film so far. Fantastic Beasts 3 is currently in production, and the role of Gellert Grindelwald will be rescheduled. The film will hit theaters in the summer of 2022. In the end, Johnny ended up losing the libel case against The Sun, but, convinced of his innocence, did end up suing Amber Heard, the trial of which I'm sure you've seen plastered all over YouTube in the last month. On November 6, 2020, Johnny had this to say of his departure from the Fantastic Beasts film franchise. In light of recent events, I would like to make the following short statement. Firstly, I'd like to thank everybody who has gifted me with their support and loyalty. Secondly, I wish to let you know that I've been asked to resign by Warner Brothers from my role as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts, and I have respected and agreed to that request. Finally, I wish to say this. The surreal judgment of the court in the UK will not change my fight to tell the truth, and I confirm that I plan to appeal. My resolve remains strong, and I intend to prove that the allegations against me are false. My life and career will not be defined by this moment in time. Thank you for reading. Sincerely, Johnny Depp With Johnny Depp gone, there was a big hole in the franchise. The main antagonist was gone. Without an antagonist, there's no film to be had, and for a while, it was looking like the Fantastic Beast films, between actor drama, a script rewrite, and lower than expected box office performance were going to be scrapped altogether. However, as they say in show business, the show must go on. With production of the third film already in motion, Warner Bros were left frantically searching for his replacement, and right off the bat there were many names thrown into the mix. However, one name came up more than any other across the internet, Maz Mikkelsen. It didn't take long for them to cast him in the role, as shortly after the dropping of Depp, he was officially announced as the new Dark Wizard. But, despite his willingness to accept the role and take the torch from Johnny, Mickelson has been nothing but respectful towards the former Fantastic Beast star, releasing the following statement on the matter. Job-wise, it's obviously super interesting and nice, Mickelson said. It's also a shocker that it came after what happened, which is just super sad. I wish both of them the best, these are sad circumstances. I hope both of them will be back in the saddle again really soon. Additionally, during a discussion about Mickelson's new film, Another Round, the actor was asked how his take on the villainous character will differ from Depp's. Well, it's going to be me, so that's a difference, Mickelson quipped. Then he got serious. No, this is the tricky part. We're still working it out. There has to be a bridge between what Johnny did and what I'm going to do, and, at the same time, I also have to make it my own. But also, we have to find a few links and some bridges, so it doesn't completely detach from what he's already masterfully achieved. And, after much anticipation, just last month we were able to see Maz in action for the very first time, 
in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. So, now that we've seen both men play the Dark Wizard, one big question remains. Who did it better? Johnny Depp or Maz Mikkelsen? Let's break down the pros and cons of each. The first thing that I want to address in this matter is that some fans have been unable to accept Maz as Grindelwald simply due to the issue of continuity. How can we, the fans, be expected to forget that someone else played the role before? And to those people, I say this. What about Richard Harris being replaced by Michael Gambon as Dumbledore? And what about Richard Bremner being replaced by Rafe Fiennes as Voldemort? In addition to those two major ones, there were many other actor changes throughout the Harry Potter films, and at the end of the day, it didn't damage the franchise. People were still able to continue to enjoy the film series, and many people didn't even notice. Dumbledore and Voldemort are both main characters, and the films were able to continue to thrive, so there's no reason that replacing Grindelwald should be the nail in the coffin for Fantastic Beasts. The next point that people made was that Johnny Depp had spent far too much time as Grindelwald to be replaced, but in reality, with the release of the third film, the truth is that Maz and Johnny have shared a similar amount of Grindelwald screen time. Yes, Johnny was in two films, but what we have to remember is that his role in the first film was fairly minor, which meant limited screen time. I don't have the exact data on how many minutes each actor has played the notorious Dark Wizard, but I'd be willing to bet that it's a similar amount, which helps this comparison. With those two points out of the way, I want to dissect their performances based on a few different pieces of criteria. The criteria will be as follows. 1. Look 2. Vocals Accent, expression, inflection, style of speech, diction 3. Charisma 4. Physicality Gestures, facial expressions, movement 5. Believability, immersiveness and 6. Accuracy with relation to Harry Potter canon and with those points laid out, let's dive in. Kicking things off with look, I'm going to have to give it to Maz Mikkelsen. Johnny Depp's white hair, heterochromia, different colored eyes, and hairstyle all seemed a bit dramatic, as if his character's appearance had been developed for film. The look of Maz was a lot more believable and, more importantly, consistent with the rest of the world around him. My biggest overarching criticism of Depp's appearance was his spiky hair, which just doesn't seem in line with the 20s or 30s. Next, vocals. In this department, I'm going to have to give a point to both actors, as I think that they were each able to nail different aspects of the vocal component. In terms of accent, Maz, who is Danish, was far more believable, but in terms of expression, I'd have to give it to Johnny. Next, charisma. Now, as any good actor knows, Charisma is a vital component to an acting performance, the ability to appeal to and enchant the viewer. In this respect, I don't think that either actor outperformed the other, they merely enchanted the audience in their own way. With that said, I found Maz to be more charismatic, and I think that the opinion on this is going to vary heavily from person to person. Up next we have physicality. Looking at it from the perspective of gestures, movement, and facial expression. While I think that Maz was spot on with regards to his gesturing and facial expressions, it's hard to ignore Johnny's movement and his ability to capture the audience with his physical presence. I'll give this one to Johnny. Believability Immersiveness Both men were believable Grindelwalds, but one issue that I had with Depp is that it's, well, Johnny Depp. When I saw him, I didn't think, that's Grindelwald, I thought, oh, it's Johnny Depp playing Grindelwald. I think that if his physical appearance had been more dialed in, matching what I expected Grindelwald to look like, this problem would have been alleviated to some extent. From a performance standpoint, however, Johnny did an excellent job. Maz was slightly more believable for me. Last up, we have accuracy with relation to canon. According to Harry Potter lore, Young Gellert Grindelwald had golden blonde hair and a wild, handsome face, middle-aged Grindelwald had light blonde hair and a thin white moustache, and older Grindelwald had grey hair with no moustache. Johnny Depp plays Grindelwald from 1926 to 1928, making him 44 to 46 years old. 
and Maz Mikkelsen plays Grindelwald in 1932, making him 50 years old. Bearing this in mind, from a canon perspective, both portrayals are reasonably accurate. Johnny Depp's Grindelwald possesses the light blonde hair that he purportedly sported in middle age, though it does look more white, and the slightly older Grindelwald played by Maz sports grey hair and no moustache. Both physical descriptions are fairly consistent with canon. The other important characteristic derived from canon is that Grindelwald is charming, and in this respect, I think Maz did a slightly better job. Not to say Johnny did a bad job. In conclusion, I think that Maz did just a little bit better than Johnny in the role, but that's just my opinion. Maz just better fits the picture of Grindelwald I always had in my head. I'd give Maz an A- and Johnny a B+. What do you guys think? Who did you prefer and why? Leave a comment down below. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.